Okay, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. All right, guys, patch 2.3.0 is going to be deployed tomorrow, and we got weapon changes, okay? Now, if you're watching this on June 13th, that means on the 14th, these will be deployed. So let's go into it. I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version, and uh, you can read the reasons why they're making these changes. But I really want to just give you the Cliff Notes of what changes are coming, and give you my thoughts and opinions, but more importantly, gather your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. But I'm going to link the full article update in the description. Make sure you check it out. Now, the first one applies to hand cannons, and I love the third change, okay? <laughs> first off, increased initial accuracy and decreased accuracy drop for low-range hand cannons. Made damage fall-off curve steeper to better coincide with intended effective range of hand cannons. They don't want to go back to where hand cannons basically have the range of certain scout rifles. Now, this last one, they are making a small increase to PVE damage to all hand cannons. Amount depending on enemy class. This I'm very happy about. I love using my Devil You Know. It's got spray and play. It's got luck in the chamber. I use it in PvP, but I like using it in PvE. And it never really feels that strong. So I think hand cannons should be viable because I... I just always rely on all scout rifles when it comes to PvE. Uh, I, I almost never use my legendary hand cannons. I use Hawk Moon for fun sometimes in PvE just because I like the way it sounds and the way it looks, but hey, I'm really psyched about that little buff. Now this one I am extremely happy about and part of my French, but thank fucking God. Here we go, Auto Rifles, Doctrine of Passing, Soul Stealer's Claw, and Armenius D. These names strike fear into opponents' hearts, not only due to their quick kill times, but also the amount of screen shake or ping they inflict upon their targets. So, the family of high rate of fire auto rifles currently leads the pack as most use. No I'm kidding. And so we will nudge it a little lower once again. So, changes. These rate, uh, high rate of fire, Doctrine, Soul, I call it Doctrine of Spamming. Uh, Soul Steel is Claw. I still haven't gotten that one yet. I don't care. I don't want it. Armenius D, reduce the damage of high rate of fire autos, Doctrine of Passing, it says in parentheses, by 6%. Is, is that enough? Is it too much? You guys let me know in the comment section. I know a lot of you guys love to use that thing. I know a lot of you people are on the uh, same page as me and hate those damn things. Now, I'm going to read this verbatim because they're making changes to the ammo economy. So it says, running out of ammo? The recommended solution is to grab some fresh ammo that just dropped at the feet of a dead combatant. But we recognize that there are certain dire combat scenarios where gathering blocks is not a viable solution. In these cases, we currently detect that you're low on ammo, round up ammo from the field, and automatically deposit it in your backpack. As an improvement, we significantly sped up this time the process takes, so the changes. It takes less time to automatically grab ammo from the battlefield for you when you're running low. Now, that's interesting that they bring that up because for me, my ammo problem is always in heavy and special. I feel like I never have enough sniper ammo. I'm always running out constantly. I'm actually using uh, special ammo synths, okay, which in year one and two, I almost never use. But since the April update, I'm always popping special synths when I need it because I don't, you know, like when we're doing the raid and things like that, sometimes I'm, I'm just not seeing special on the ground. Same thing with heavy. Now, Hawk Moon is taking a little bit of a uh, nerf, but not much, guys. Look, slight reduction to Hawk Moon stability, minus five of stability. Not a big deal. I'm more concerned at range when it comes to Hawk Moon and hand cannon, so don't worry about it. Uh, next up, they're looking at counterbalance. Okay, so I'm going to read this verbatim. There are some cases where a perk's effectiveness makes it seem like an absolute necessity to run. For many players, this is currently true for counterbalance. Not only is it an extremely effective perk, but it nullifies the uniqueness of each gun's recall pattern. We hope these changes will let the personality of each gun shine through a bit more. So here's what they're doing. Slight reduction to counterbalance effectiveness reduces 80% of recoil angle instead of 90%. So a 10% difference. Are we really going to notice it that much? I don't know. We'll see. You doctrine of spamming people will notice. I got counterbalance on my doctrine of spamming, but I never use it. <laughs> All right, then when it comes to bugs, uh, they said fixed incorrect UI bars on Red Spectre, no gameplay changes. Uh, fixed exotic machine gun stability where some weapons were ignoring their own base stats for recall, a la Thunderlord and Super Bad Advice. Uh, they fixed the defiance of aim assist to have the correctly adjusted zoom for sniper rifles, introduced in 2.2.0, which was times 5. Increased inventory stat by 10 to compensate for it. Now, that is it for all the changes. However, you do want to read this article because down at the bottom, they've got a section called Sandbox Mythbusters, okay, where uh, they answer most frequent questions. <laughs> Some of them like, what does Rangefinder really do? Uh, what is weapon handling? All sorts of stuff. So make sure you check out the article. This is 2.3.0. This is a weapon update preview and will be coming tomorrow on the 14th of June. Uh, and hopefully just keep it locked in here, guys. I, I'm sure we're going to be getting a lot of things coming out of E3. The Sony press conference is tonight. I'll be recording it. I'll be covering it. So make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Drop a like on this video 
only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mason Sean. Check out my stream, usually on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.